In this video, we're going to discuss how to add users within rows. So we go up to the hamburger menu at the top left. We're going to click on user at the bottom. And we're going to create a new user. So click create and click make changes. And so this is going to be the actual username that they log in with. All right, um, so we can we can restrict access rights by day and time. We can also um, restrict, well, not restrict, but we can uh, we can give uh, a default store for each user. So uh, whatever location they're going to be at um, the majority of the time, you can put that in here, and that's going to auto populate uh, fields throughout rows, so they don't have to input what location they are. Uh, it also allows you to share people between stores as well, so you have the flexibility to uh, they can change their location and input inventory uh, for wherever location they're working. Um, here we're going to change the user level to a default to staff default. Uh, we're going to add Saturday and this is the times that we're restricted to. We can change this uh, if you if you don't want staff to have access certain times. Um, we can restrict that on here. And um, we're going to change the dashboard card visibility. Um, so this one, we, they can see consigner uh, dashboard cards, payouts, new consigners, and take-ins. In this case, we don't want them to see payouts, so we're going to take that off. Now, these are, these are the modules that they need to have access to. So consigners generally is what everyone would have access to, so you can pay people out, research accounts, uh, create new consigners, etc. Uh, take-ins obviously for creating inventory um, and then this one the inventory screen since we generally want to use the inventory screen to edit inventory you might want to restrict who has access to this that way when they create a take-in inventory um, they're going to need to get uh, help from someone else if they need to change something uh, so get help from a manager so this we're going to we're going to uncheck inventory so they can work with consigners edit accounts etc and they can input inventory through the take-in screen we're going to save changes, and, and now we have a new user um, who can log in and, and has restricted access through ROTES. Um, if we go in and edit this one, you can see we can also have, we have default manager settings and we have administrator. Administrator gets all dashboard access, all card access, uh, etc. So um, be careful uh, how you use that. Uh, user level access. Um, and so that is how you create and edit users within Rose.